what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we've got a nice gift from our friends over at rpm motorsports they do have everything you need for your razor your can-am um, any type of exhaust uh, blow-off valves performance parts charge tubes um, intercooler upgrades check out rpm uh, they will have you covered Today we're going to be checking out this version 2 RPM blow-off valve for the Can-Am Maverick X3. As I have a uh, 2019 Can-Am X3 uh, XRS Turbo R. Um, it is tuned. It is tuned to uh, 200 horsepower. But it does not have a blow-off valve. And today we're going to be fixing that here with this kit from RPM. Check out that fresh new design. on The blow-off valve. Super nice, super sturdy. All right, gives you lots of extra seals, some grease there, all the clamps you need, some spring options, uh, hard, medium, and soft spring, so you can get that sound you want, dial it in. Uh, you got this filter and this pre-cover here to keep out um, dust and sand if you do ride in a dusty or sandy environment all the time. Um, if you're not like that, if you're just like me, riding on trails and stuff, um, you can just leave that off and get that extra sound out of the blow-off valve that we're probably all looking for. All right, so let's get to installing this thing. Pretty quick install, guys. The hardest part you're gonna have will be just getting that old charge tube off from the intercooler. Probably be the hardest part of the install. Um, I've got big hands, so if I can get these big hands in there, guys, you can too. Uh, you don't have to take all the stuff apart that you do see in a lot of other videos, taking a lot of a lot of these intake tubes and stuff off. We'll show you guys over here. Sorry, the, the can is under a cover right now. But you see a lot of people taking this tube off for your clutch um, taking this intake tube off taking all that off to get up in there and it is a tight fit as you can see but you can get right up in here guys and get to that tube right there I've already got the clamp all I did was loosen the clamp I used that uh, small quarter inch ratchet over there it is a seven millimeter uh, clamp on there which is a little bit odd usually there'll be eight millimeter ten millimeter something like that but must be a can-am thing you don't need a lot of tools to do this. We've just got a quarter inch ratchet here, a couple different extensions for some options on sizing. Got a seven millimeter socket on there. We do have this little quarter middle quarter <laughs> quarter inch um, screwdriver that adapts to a socket, just a socket driver. Um, and we've got a few hooks to get a grip on that old intercooler hose and pull it off gingerly if we have to. May even use a long screwdriver here to get it started a little bit. Just give it a little, give it a little bump there, you know. <laughs> All right, and I just got some extra sockets out here just in case. But you will not need a lot. Some of the stuff you see here, you probably won't even need all that. All right, so sorry it's dark in here. Here we go. This will be the tube you'll be removing right here on the turbo. That's all we'll have to do is remove that clamp right there. Slip this pipe back and get that off the intercooler in the back there and then we will be golden just have to slide the new pipe in with the blow off valve already attached it's going to be sitting about right in here and we'll show you how we get that done looking forward to the sound it's going to make guys let's go all right so as you can see here we can go ahead and loosen up this clamp all right let's slide this clamp back and be right back all right so that was actually super easy guys um, all we really had to do was take that long screwdriver once we had this clamp loosened Give it just a little pressure around the edges here to loosen it up popped it right off Then you want to get that hose above this lip right here uh, Get it above this lip and then in the back We just um, reach the screwdriver all the way back there towards the intercooler outlet and We gave a little pressure downwards and it just popped right down and actually, since we're not going to be reusing that old um, charge tube, and it, it didn't hurt it anyway, but just in case it does for you guys, I took that screwdriver and pushed right down in the curve of it right there. Just kind of pushed straight down back through here like my hand is, and it made the entire pop, pipe pop off. All right, be right back with you when we start putting on the new charge tube. We've got everything installed. Um, that charge pipe was a little bit harder than I anticipated it being getting in there um, the rpm replacement for this tube sorry it's getting a little dark in here now you guys can't really see back into the back there but you've really got to twist and kind of put this in at this angle go back and then twist it up into there it's a really kind of an awkward uh, maneuver but it's not too bad 
tube is all up inside there. From this side, you can see the RPM RPM logo up there up top. It's kind of hard to see there. But everything is all installed. Let's look back one more time here at the inside. All right, and you can see the blow-off valve there. I do have it facing towards me. Because like I said, I'm not going to be in any sandy or dusty, really, environments or anything like that. And I believe it's going to stay pretty clean that way. And I may end up putting a filter on it. I just want to see how it sounds. And it will just be trial and error with that. But I do believe it will be really loud right there. And that's what I'm looking for. All right. So let's get everything put back together. Get the panels back on. I'm going to clean this up before I put that back on there. I hadn't had that off in a while. And we'll get back to you with the, uh, with the sound review. I've got what you guys are really looking for. So stick around. We're going to be taking a cruise with this thing, doing a sound comparison. Get you guys some good audio of this RPM blow-off out. Get ready to go for a ride down the road. Check it out. Different RPMs, different different load uh, situations. This thing is uh, looking and sounding mean.
right, what's up guys? Just wanted to come back to you, wrap up the video here, give you my honest opinions on the blow off valve, um, tell you my thoughts on it, my experiences on it over riding it pretty hard over the last three weeks or so. Um, I wanted to give it time to give it a good, um, to get my good opinion on it, to get some time, some use on it and see how it worked out, see if there was any issues at all, anything like that. And there were zero. <laughs> the blow off valve has been awesome. Um, the install is super easy guys. The sound is amazing. It's the loudest blow-off valve on the market by far, I believe. Um, if you are someone who doesn't like the blow-off valve quite as loud as it can be, you can adjust it. You can point that horn in different directions. You can use that filter. Um, putting a stiffer spring also takes away a little sound. Lots of things you can do to quieten it if you want to. And there's just tons of adjustability with it. That's what I love with the three springs. Um, if I had footage of all three springs, I ended up going with the medium uh, stiffness spring. I started out with the lightest uh, weight spring and I had some pressure coming through the blow off valve that shouldn't be at idle. Uh, the spring just didn't have enough seating pressure to keep the, the blow off valve, uh, the piston sealed or in the position it needed to be under a light load. Um, so we switched to that medium spring and it's sounding perfect guys. It's acting and functioning just as it should be. Um, no problems with the machine. Everything feels great. Just has an extra awesome sound now. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you get something from it. Um, I hope it makes the install a little bit easier for you guys. You do not have to remove any of the intake tubes that you may see in other install videos for this. Um, at least I did not have that problem. I did not have to remove a clutch vent tube or an air um, intake tube, anything like that. Um, I was able to get in there and get the job done without removing anything except the charge pipe um, itself. Um, I want to thank RPM Power Sports again for rocking with us and supporting us here on a small channel. Um, I really appreciate that and look forward to working with them in the future, bringing you guys some more content, some more epic parts that they do produce. Um, you guys you need to go over to RPMSideBySide.com. You guys can use code BABER. Um, that's B-A-B-E-R. Um, that will get you an extra 5% off anything site-wide. So hopefully that saves you guys some money out there. You can pick up some of those parts you've been looking for. Um, if you guys do pick up this blow-off valve, you won't be disappointed. So thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you next time. Make sure you hit that like button if you got something out of the video. Uh, subscribe to come back, spend some more time with us, learn about the other things we have here on the channel, the cars, um, lots of the builds, the projects we have going on here. Uh, a lot more content to come soon. Appreciate you guys. Peace.